Hi everyone, uh, welcome to English 1A. My name is Heather Banesh and I am thrilled to be your professor in this very weird and interesting term. Uh, the first thing you should know is that COD was attacked by malware over the week and our website, our email, and even sometimes Canvas is still down. They're working on getting things up and running, but what that means for us is that email and ad codes are not working. If you need me to put you into the class, be sure to send me a message with your name and student ID and I'll get you directly put into Canvas. I'm going to basically go over uh, this first module with you. You can follow along with me or watch my whole video and then click through the links. Every week I'll be posting lectures and it's really important that you watch them and understand them. You'll count, this will count as your attendance and will, you will always uh, have a few questions afterward attached, my way of making sure you understand the material. This course has been adapted to provide guidance and support to help you prepare for your writing and research adventure. We will focus on language, writing, message, and research, and hopefully grow, laugh, learn, and likely cry together. Through it all, I promise you I'll teach you everything I know and everything that you need to be a successful writer. So let's get started about the course. Communication with me, your peers, and uh, mostly with me. This course will be conducted fully online. We will be offering open lab workshops and office hours through Zoom for guidance and support. You can always join me. I'll be posting meeting sessions in the course announcements. And of course, anytime you can contact me via Canvas, Inbox, Facebook, Messenger, my COD email, and through text message. The time commitment. The academic norm is to expect three hours of homework per unit per week. So that means you're gonna have between 10 and 12 hours of homework uh, a week should be expected. In reality, some tasks and some assignments, especially at the beginning, will uh, be short. Others will take a considerable amount of thought and research and time. Thus, the 12 hours expectation is average some weeks will be less and some weeks will be more. To help you prepare and move through the course a lot quicker, uh, you should probably gather the following. A working computer or laptop. If you do not have one, please let me know through text or message. Um, the school can work to get you a suitable device. We'll help you. You'll need internet. If you do not have any, please let me know. The school is working with local providers to make sure that all of our students have affordable and stable internet access. And I've been told that our East and West Valley campuses will have internet up and running so that you can go to a parking lot and do your homework in the parking lot. If possible, a printer and a three ring binder. There are many handouts and I highly recommend you printing them off and building something of a textbook for the future. Um, I do have extra piles of these handouts, so if any of you wanna come and pick up hard copies, we can do drive-by pickup and delivery. And then I recommend an in-print dictionary. So you're gonna need help. On the syllabus and in module one under resources, there are links to the Canvas guide um, a support number and of course if you have general questions about the class you can contact me through the Canvas inbox located on the left hand side of your Canvas account. I'll respond to you within 24 business hours uh, and as I stated before you can also text me, email me, and Facebook messenger me. I'll go into details later. If you email instead of message my response time will be up to three or four days. So as I said my name is Heather Banesh. I'm thrilled to be your professor this fall term. I've been a faculty member at COD for 14 years. I teach uh, both online now and face-to-face -face courses in composition, critical thinking, and literature. Uh, my preferred mode of instruction is the classroom. I'm a stage performer, but I am here this semester to support your learning and application of concepts related to message delivery, language command, successful meaning and research, and academic writing and I think we'll do just fine even online. Uh, we're in this together. I'm excited to be part of your learning experience. Since I normally teach in the classroom, 
Uh, this is going to be an online adventure for all of us, me too. My goal is that you'll be able to successfully apply what you learn in the course to all of your writing, both academically and professionally, for years to come. And I want you to know you're not alone. I'm here to help. Truth be told, I'm learning too. So together, as I say, we will conquer. Um, reach out with your questions. The best way to contact me is through text. But you can, of course, as we said, use Canvas message, email, and messenger through Facebook. Uh, on Facebook, I'm listed as Heather Aguilar. And my YouTube channel is Heather uh, Professor Heather Aguilar Banesh. Words and Making Them Powerful is the title of the syllabus. And you're encouraged to print that out and have it in paper form. There are four sections of English 1A, and we're all sharing a syllabus. So depending on your class, you'll see where we're at. My contact email includes, or contact information includes my email, hbanesh, B-E-N-E-S, at collegeofthedesert.edu. Direct text, 760-977-0781. It's important that you have and use this number to text me. It's my personal number, but I understand that especially with everything online, you often don't need help on Tuesday afternoon during my Zoom office hours. You need help Saturday morning or Sunday night. A few things you should know about texting me. I'll not save your number, so every time you text, please tell me who you are and what class you're in, what you need help with. At that point, if we need to talk, I can call you for a voice conversation. On Facebook, as I said, I'm listed as Heather Aguilar. Office hours and locations. Um, I'm going to do office hours through my Canvas inbox, located on the left side of your Canvas. Video chat on Zoom, and this is by request, and sometimes I'll just set it up. Facebook Messenger video and message. Uh, and you can, of course, message me every day, any day. Please allow me 24 hours to respond, um, but normally I'm much faster. And then, of course, my COD email, hbanesh, college of the desert, edu. Uh, about English 1A learning outcomes. We have four goals. To engage in process-driven writing that includes drafting, revising, and editing strategies. To write a logical, well-developed argument that clearly articulates a thesis supported by textual evidence and that demonstrates an awareness of audience. Read critically by summarizing, analyzing, synthesizing, and evaluating college-level texts, including fiction and nonfiction. And select, evaluate, interpret, and synthesize sources in a service, uh, in the service of argument while accurately documenting those sources in APA or MLA style. Participation and attendance. Guys, language is all about interaction. Reader, writer, speaker, listener, internal thought, external conversation, text, and orality. They work together. So in order to best meet the expectations of the course and your own described purposes, I expect everyone to interact with language and each other. Uh, this term, because we're online, your participation includes doing readings, asking questions, engaging with discussions, watching the lectures, and active. Uh, actively evolving as a writer, thinker, researcher, and speaker. And as far as the discussion goes, although I am assigning post five, answer five, post eight, respond to two, things like this, what I'm really hoping for is this just happens naturally and organically. If someone replies to you, reply back to them, have a conversation. And even if you've met your quota for points, it's a good idea to keep talking. Writing assignments. Writing, writing, writing. We're going to complete several sub separate multi-level essay projects. We're going to do a bit of in-class writing, which is not really true because you're watching videos. But while you watch the videos, take notes. Um, and it's this out-of-class work, the stuff that doesn't happen on Canvas that's going to take your greatest grade weight. You should take care uh, to make sure that you present your work uh, in a legible and carefully proofread manner. I like papers that follow directions that have been proofread and even the title is taken seriously. Quizzes will be given every week. Everything said, written, and read is subject to insertion. Each assignment is going to be thoroughly discussed and explained as it's assigned. Keep in mind that smaller assignments will be built upon and aimed toward the completion of larger ones. And for this reason, each student will want to take special care to keep up with the work that's presented because they build up and so you don't want a collapse to occur. Please seek help immediately if you have questions or what they call writer's block. There will be many available resources for help. 
uh, most importantly me, the recorded lectures, assignment prompts, discussion boards, and announcements. You're also going to have members of your peer review groups, your Rules for Writers and Hackers Handbook, uh, Al Purdue, that's a live link on your syllabus, COD's Tutoring and Academic Skill Center, also a live link on your syllabus. Please note that in terms of a tip for success, um, our academic purpose, formal turn-in paper should be carefully written, proofread, typed in MLA format. So here's some recommended texts. I recommend getting a hacker's handbook and an in-print dictionary. These two things will help you a lot. The one required text is called the Gersney Literary and Potato Peel Pie Society. And on your syllabus, there's a live link to this. It's a novel by Annie Burroughs and Mary Ann Schaefer. It's a historical fiction piece. You can watch it on YouTube, or sorry, Netflix, but please note that the film and the book are not the same. And I'll be able to tell if you only watch the movie. You'll see on the syllabus an overview of the calendar and assignments. In it, every module is listed um, with an estimate of what we're going to do or cover that week. These are linked, so if you ever need or want to find your way back to a module, you can always come to the syllabus as a starting point. They are not filled out all of the way because I don't want you to go too far ahead. Uh, I need to teach the material before you jump into the work, and this will ensure your best shot for success. The last module is a list of College of the Desert resources. These are live links, definitely worth checking out. Uh, my disability support statement, if anyone is in need of accommodation because of a documented disability, please see me so that appropriate arrangements can be discussed. Uh, the DSPS link is also available on my syllabus. Veteran support statement, welcome veterans. I too am a 10 year Marine Corps veteran, hurrah. And uh, there are all kinds of exciting programs designed to specifically help us navigate college and succeed with achieving your academic goal. On the syllabus under the heading of veteran support services, there's a list of useful links. And of course you can always ask me as well. My late work policy, it's not accepted without a documented medical emergency. The class is set up so that everything is due by Sunday night. I figure this makes it really simple um, and the deadline will stay constant throughout the whole term so you can plan accordingly. My plagiarism policy. Plagiarism is only an issue of practice. Do your own work, think for yourself, and give credit to the sources whose ideas, phrases, and concepts you've used. When in doubt, quote and cite the source uh, using proper MLA citation in a works cited page. Your required resources for English 1A, as we said, is the Gersney Literary and Potato Peel Society book. Uh, I recommend the rules for writer and I recommend a dictionary. So if you need resources for help, the beyond the recorded lectures, assignment prompts, discussion board, and announcement, um, there's also a module that has all sorts of live links, technical support for Canvas, um, a 1-800 number. And then, let's see, is there anything else? I so much look forward to working with you this term and throughout the course, and welcome again to English 1A. We're going to get going. Make sure you look at everything in the module.